did you know that Neuralink has started its first human experiments? We talk about it in today's video. In the realm of technological innovation, few names resonate as profoundly as Elon Musk's. With a penchant for pushing the boundaries of what's possible, Musk has once again captivated the world with the latest milestone in his ever-expanding portfolio of ventures. Neuralink, a neurotechnology company founded by Musk, has embarked on a groundbreaking journey that aims to redefine the relationship between humanity and artificial intelligence. Central to this vision is the development of a seamless interface between the human brain and external devices, promising to revolutionize how we interact with technology and each other. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Neuralink, spearheaded by the visionary Elon Musk, represents a bold leap into uncharted territory. The seamless integration of the human brain with artificial intelligence. At its core lies a revolutionary concept, a thread-like implant delicately interfacing with the intricate neural networks of the brain. Imagine a world where individuals with neurological conditions, such as paralysis or blindness, can regain autonomy and independence through Neuralink's transformative implants. By decoding the electrical signals of the brain, Neuralink opens avenues for direct communication with external devices, empowering individuals to control computers or prosthetic limbs with unparalleled precision and ease. Such advancements have the potential to revolutionize the lives of millions, offering hope where previously there was only limitation. By providing novel avenues for treating conditions like depression and anxiety, Neuralink offers a glimmer of hope to those grappling with the complexities of the human mind. Elon Musk says his ambitious plan to let people wirelessly connect their brains to phones and other devices has taken a new step, announcing the first human brain transplant from his company Neuralink. The unidentified man is recovering well, Musk said via X, formerly known as Twitter. Initial results show promising neuron spike detection, he added, referring to cellular activity between our brains and our nervous systems. The news comes months after Neuralink began recruiting potential human test subjects for its clinical trial. The company received Food and Drug Administration approval for the trial last May, saying it wanted to enroll people aged 22 and older living with quadriplegia due to amyotrophic lateral sclerosis (ALS) or spinal cord injury. Neuralink's clinical trial is called PRIME, for Precision Robotic Implanted Brain Computer Interface. As the name suggests, the procedure involves using a robot to surgically insert a part of the brain involved in the movement of the company's implant wires. The device is designed to interpret a person's neural activity, so they can operate a computer or smartphone by simply intending to move. No wires or physical movement are required, Neuralink said as it called for volunteers. Neuralink says its transplant process uses custom-made microscopic needles. As the company stated at X last October, the tip is only 10 to 12 microns in width, only slightly larger than the diameter of a red blood cell. The small size allows threads to be inserted with minimal damage to the cortex. The goal of the prime trial, the company said in a promotional video, is to place a small cosmetically invisible implant in a part of your brain that plans movement. According to Neuralink, the implant includes 1024 electrodes distributed across 64 threads. The implant is the main hardware component of the experiment. Other points of focus are the surgical robot and the Neuralink user app, which connects wirelessly to a computer or other device. The N1 implant is powered by a small battery charged wirelessly from the outside via a compact inductive charger that enables easy use from anywhere, the company says on its website. When he announced the human transplant surgery, Musk said his company's transplant product was called telepathy. Enables control of your phone or computer and through them almost any device, just by thinking, he tweeted Monday evening. Initial users will be those who have lost the use of their limbs, he said. Imagine if Stephen Hawking could communicate faster than a speed typist or auctioneer. That is the goal. Neuralink says it aims to, to redefine the boundaries of human capability, telling prospective participants of the prime trial that they can, could significantly shape the future of interaction and independence, not just for you, but for countless others. Neuralink has previously faced controversy over how it conducts its research and how Musk portrays the work. Reports emerged in 2022 and 2023, alleging that the company's practices had debilitating effects on monkeys and other animals used in experiments, including an allegation that as many as 12 monkeys were euthanized as part of its research. In response to such accusations, Musk said last September, no monkey has died as a result of a Neuralink implant, adding that in early tests, to minimize risk to healthy monkeys, we chose terminal monies, close to death already. 
Members of Congress asked the SEC to look into how Musk portrayed Neuralink's use of animals in testing its implants and, specifically, whether he increased the marketability of the implants. The lawmaker's push includes a request from reps Earl Blumenauer, D. Ore, and Adam Schiff, D. Caliph, who last May asked the U.S. Department of Agriculture to investigate possible conflicts of interest among people on the board that oversees animal testing. Research in computing and neuroscience has been converging for decades, including the burgeoning field of deciphering the brain's electrical activity around words, impulses, and images. Increasingly, that work involves an implantable brain-computer interface, or BCI. Much of the ongoing research has attempted to bring people affected by paralysis and blindness new ways of interacting with the world. But implants have long been seen as capable of improving people who don't suffer from such serious conditions. Musk has previously talked about the idea of a neural lace that could add a symbiotic digital layer to the human brain and integrate artificial intelligence with the brain. While the current Neuralink experiment appears to stop well short of those lofty goals, speculation about his comments crystallized around Neuralink in 2017 when he confirmed his ties to the then-new company. Imagine the joy of connecting with your loved ones, browsing the web or even playing games using only your thoughts. Neuralink said in its video, showing images of a smartphone that appears to be connected to a person's mind. Brain transplant research has raised many questions, including whether and where humanity draws the line in our integration with technology. As the rush to embrace the devices of the future has evaporated, people like Tristan Harris, a former Google employee who founded the Center for Human Technology, have urged innovators to first analyze our present, including the harmful and addictive effects our phones can have on us. What got us into the present situation where our attention spans are 40 seconds on any computer screen, Harris told NPR in 2019. What got us there wasn't, let's make our attention spans short. What got us there was, let's give ourselves superpowers. And we didn't know ourselves well enough that when we gave ourselves superpowers, we debased our way of making attention. This groundbreaking technology holds the unlocking new frontiers in human-computer interaction, offering a glimpse into a future where the barriers between mind and machine dissolve. So guys, we have come to the end of our video today. Neuralink's foray into human trials marks a pivotal moment in the history of neurotechnology. In embracing the possibilities of Neuralink's visionary technology, we embark on a journey towards unlocking the full potential of the human mind and ushering in a future where the boundaries between man and machine blur into insignificance. Don't forget to like and subscribe to watch more videos.